welcome back to Brunette Wood Place. I'm Lisa. I'm so glad that you were here today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and then every time I post a new wig related video you will get a notification letting you know that I posted something new. So you might notice that I have on no wig this morning. <laughs> so I am doing this little video because it was requested. Someone asked if I would do a video showing how you measure, all, take all your head measurements. So I have my trusty little tape measure here and I'm just gonna show you exactly how I do it. Really, really simple. So put that one inch right there in the middle of my forehead. Go around. You wanna make sure in the back that you are under your occipital bone right here. Basically, you want the tape measure to sit where the edge of the wig is gonna sit. So right along your hairline, under the occipital bone, you know, just right where the nape of the wig would be. And so you can see I get, it may be backwards on your camera, but you can see I get a measurement of 21. I have a 21 inch circumference. So then you can measure ear to ear. So I measure ear to just right, I'll show you where I'm putting it, right there where my, at the top of my ear, but on my scalp, not, not like this top of my ear. I'm measuring right here. Again, we're talking about what the, what the cap measurements are gonna be. They're gonna be on your head, okay? So you wanna go just kind of past the ear, and I get 11 when I do that. 11, 11 and a half. So then you can do your forehead back to your nape. Again, you wanna be past the, you're gonna put it like right where the edge of the wig would be. You wanna be past your occipital bone back here, all the way down to where the nape of the neck would be. And when I measure that, I get 13. So um, as far as also measuring your face, you can measure your forehead. So from where the edge of the wig would be to close to between my eyes, I get right at about three. And then if I measure my whole face, it's kind of hard because you don't want to wrap around. I get about eight on my whole face, all the way down to my chin here. And then my neck, I measure right here all the way down to, I usually measure to about my collarbone. And I get, well actually my neck part, I get about four inches. Yeah. And then if you wanna to go to the collarbone, collarbone on me would be five. So just for reference, if you're looking at like a longer style and you're thinking, okay, where's that gonna, you know, where's it gonna lay? If you're gonna measure the back, like to think about what a long style would look like, you'd wanna, start right about here, right under that occipital bone, but not right at the occipital bone because the nape of the wig, you know, is gonna sit right back here. So you wanna start it where the nape is gonna be and then you just measure down and, and see what, you know, 10 inches, 11 inches, 12 inches, 20 inches, whatever that would be. So I can't think of any other measurements that you would want to take. Um, your circumference is always gonna be the most important measurement. Um, that's gonna kinda of tell you if you sit in the, you know, petite, petite average, whatever. Um, my measurements, and you can look online, there's charts online that'll tell you exactly what measurements fall with what cap size. One place I found that all your measurements are super important is if you're ordering a human hair wig, they will usually ask you, especially if you're doing a custom one, um, if you're ordering a stock piece, it would be good for you to know because they're gonna have a chart on their website that's gonna tell you, you know, what, your, what those measurements should be, your um, circumference, your ear to ear, and your forehead to nape. Uh, so those are good things to have. So when you're ordering those caps online, especially for human hair, like I said, um, you know you know that you're ordering the right size. So anyway, I can't think of anything else to tell you about that. I hope that you found this helpful. Um, so until next time, don't forget you're absolutely beautiful. Bye.